up everyone, we are Los Hermanos, and we're back for another UFC breakdown. This time for UFC 285, Cyril Gunn against John Jones. And boy, are we excited about this one. Especially, we're just gonna cover the main event because that's the fight that we're... Yeah, exactly, the, the card is kind of weak, but, uh, but that happens sometimes, but we're excited for the main event. And uh, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered, you say that? Yeah, so let's start from the top, I guess. You know, it's John Jones coming back. He hasn't fought in like three years, and it's the first time him fighting uh, as a heavyweight. Yeah. And not only that, he's facing like a really formidable opponent in Cyril Gunn for the undisputed heavyweight title. Mm. And you never know when you're moving up a weight how your belt's going to carry the weight and handle the weight. And John Jones is going for 205, and now there's reports saying that it's over 265. So it's really? Over, it's, it's over 60 pounds, his gain. So how will he move? Will he be able to use his uh, strengths and, and like the things, his abilities that made him so dominant at 205? Like his fitness, his, quick, his fast and feet, his movements, his long reach. Will this translate to heavyweight? We don't know yet. Right, because I'm trying to think of have there been any successful like uh, fighters who have gone up and or down in weight and been successful. You know, of course there was Connor when he jumped up to uh, lightweight and he faced Eddie Alvarez and uh, of course he was victorious. But there are many times where people have not been successful. So it's going to be interesting to see how does his skill set translate as he moves up in weight. Yeah. You know, he's fast. He's known for being like a very fast like heavyweight, super technical, of course, that is something that won't go away, mm -hmm. but his speed and power, will that translate as he moves up in weight? We do not know, because he's facing Cyril Gunn, who is a really, really prevalent striker, a really fantastic <laughs> striker, and I would argue a striker that we haven't really seen in the heavyweight division, no, the way he moves. Exactly, he moves very, it's a great movement, he's a kickboxer with a kind of karate stance, like he likes to touch and move, touch and move, like one of the problems before was that he didn't have like the killer instinct that he was taking fights through decisions when he didn't need it. But now we saw against Tai Tai Tuivasa that he knocked him out very handsomely with his movement. Like he really put on his 245 or 55 pounds. So. Yeah, so it's gonna be very interesting. And also, you know, it's been three years. So mm -hmm. what type of fighter is John Jones? You know, he was such a dominant force in the lightweight division, but his last couple of fights, you know, they were pretty close. And some would argue that he might not even have won all of them, you know? No, exactly, but uh, and a lot of things, like the reports are coming out now that, they say, they, they say like, when you go, when you become an older fighter, you lose the passion and the fire right. in the fire. And then often you lose, like, like, lose, like Tyron Woodley, for example. But his last couple of performance, I've heard that he said like he had trouble getting up out of bed, that like, he mm. wasn't, Excited about motivated. motivated, had fear in it. So maybe, maybe it's the time passing him back, or maybe it was simply fact, simply the fact that he was not feeling that motivation or like for the eager to win. Right, and you know, he is a person who's striving for greatness. You know, mm -hmm. of course, he is a fucking vicious. He's a winner, John yeah. Jones. And just, I can only imagine how the way he approaches this fight, uh, as it is being a fight for legacy. You yeah. know, being a two division champ and really, really sort of strengthening the claim that he is the GOAT of all GOATs. Yeah, and, and the, other, the other question comes in, the big question is like, have Cyril John improved his wrestling? Because like, he got, not manhandled, but he got, he got taken down and controlled by Francis Ngana, who is no stretch a good wrestler or a good grappler. And if Francis can do that to you, John Jones can most definitely do that. Yeah, Jones is an extremely talented wrestler. I mean, he's so well versed in all yeah. of the skill sets within mixed martial arts. So it's interesting to see. And if we look at the, you know, the, uh, the main questions, uh, I guess, how does Jones' uh, power and technique translate mm -hmm. against a, such a strong and big striker in Cyril Gunn? Mm -hmm. And then how does uh, Cyril Gunn's takedown defense stand up against John Jones. Yeah, not only that, Cyril Gunn has not even faced a striker like Jones as well. Like he, he has not faced a striker that does complete kicks, that's a question mark kick, that does like elbow coming in with elbows. They, they fight pretty similarly. Mm -hmm. Like they're very loose and they can like give you a spin. Yeah, yeah. Low they, knee, they give you a lot of yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of looks. And Cyril yeah. Gunn has not fought anybody in the UFC that has had that kind of movement. And but John Jones, John Jones has fought a lot of different types of strikers. Like Dominic Reyes was a very, very loose, uh, loose striker. 
uh, Alexander Gustafsson, our countryman, has incredible striking and very elus elusive as well. Yeah. Thiago Santos was a, is a great like Muay Thai fighter. Like he has seen a lot of looks and how and he has been able to adapt and overcome. Those. Yeah, that is very true. And just you know, just to support. <laughs> Surugan a little bit, you know, he really got schooled by Francis in, in the wrestling department. But we must also, you know, remember that Engano got schooled by Stipe. Yeah. Because Stipe took him down in their first uh, showing, and then second time around, you know, you could see definitely the improvement in Engano, and he actually, you know, he knocked out Stipe. Yeah, but Engano switched camps after that, from the camp that Surugan is now to go to the U.S. True. So and Cyril got school birth and stick and is still at the same camp that didn't have any wrestling for Francis. So maybe Yeah. I don't know I don't know how to, like I uh, like he said he brought in a one in one for one wrestler. What a wrestler, <laughs> wrestler. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if one wrestler is enough for John Jones. I guess we'll have well, to wait yeah, and see. Yeah. But who do you got? I mean, going pure logic, you have to go with John Jones. Yeah. Yes. Like the proof is in the pudding. Like I've seen John Jones dominating for the last ten years mm. or twelve years or something like that, and I've seen four Serbian fights. Right. So yet on that, I have to go on um, go on John Jones. But I wouldn't be. It's heavyweight, and Serbian is a incredible striker. So anything can happen. But yes, if you're gonna have a safe bet, you have to bet on. John right. Jones. I'm also gonna go with Jones, but I think it's gonna be a decision. You know, I think that. It won't be as easy that Jones might think, or like how the way you know uh, John Jones fans might think. You know, mm -hmm. I think uh, Cyril will present a lot of problems. He will yeah. be uh, durable, you know, because he will be able to take a lot of uh, punishment. Yeah. But at the you know as the fight progresses, I think with Jones' I, uh, fight IQ, it will just surpass anything, any type of defense that Cyril throws mm -hmm. towards John. So I'm also gonna go with John Jones and uh, winning via decisions. All right, so let's see how this fight plays out and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, peace.